in my life, my lab results all say normal. So I know it's say normal. identify with Brad because you never know when it can happen to you. Ironically, my kidney failure happened when I was two years old from the E. coli bacteria. Mm. One of the most rewarding programs that the Renal Support Network does is an annual prom for teenagers who have kidney disease. Now, I created this event because I spent all my teenage years waiting for a transplant and on dialysis. I wanted to give teens a night they could remember and create friendships that would last a lifetime. Because when I was a teen, it was very difficult. You know, I was dealing with serious health issues and they were dealing with trying to get a date. So I never felt I connected and I was dealing with very, very serious health issues. So the Renal Team Prom is a great event. It's every year. We've held it for 12 consecutive years and we have over 120 kidney teens and their uh, either they're in the dialysis stage or the transplant stage that come and they create friendships that last a lifetime. Because when you have an illness as serious as needing an organ donation or chronic kidney disease, the peer support is what helps in addition to the great medical advancements. So it, it is my pleasure because Jack has been so graciously uh, attended the prom the last two years and he uh, makes every single team feel like they're the most important person in the world. And I get to see these faces every day, and they light up. And for him to give his time, and that is why we nominated him as uh, the uh, Donate Life Hollywood Person of the Year. And it's my pleasure to welcome the most incredible Mr. In Super nice. <laughs> Super nice. I can't specify. And just a genuine good guy. And I would like to introduce you, the Miss Incredible Jack Black.
Sorry, I didn't memorize it. No, no, I know what you think. <laughs> Slacker. <laughs> so here's Brian the dog. You know what he says? I don't care. I'm going to sacrifice my life for my owner, and it's a huge, touching scene. And then in comes the doctor in a hospital gown, and he says he's decided to donate his kidney to Dad because Dad is his only patient left who has ever, and who's ever heard of a kidney transplant from a dog anyway? <laughs> the episode also showed the power of living donation and the hope of transplantation. And that's why Family Guy is receiving an Inspire Award. Let's see a clip. <laughs> Go. Dr. Hartman, what, what are you, you, you're not dressed for surgery. I sure am. But I, I, I don't understand. Well, you see, Mrs. Griffin, I found another donor for your husband. You did? Oh! Me. What? It turns out I'm a perfect match, and I'm willing to give up one of my kidneys. Oh, my God, Dr. Hartman, y you do that for us? Well, the truth is, you folks are my only remaining patients. I couldn't afford to lose two of you. What do you mean, two of us? Well, chances are Peter never would have survived the surgery. I mean, I mean, dog kidneys? I mean, I'm not even sure dogs have kidneys. <laughs> dogs have kidneys? Yes. Yeah, this, this is the guy. <laughs> Their Inspire Award is Family Guy's Mark Henteman.